maybe a little hopeful thinking I can go out in just a jacket. Worst comes to the worst, once I've dropped Delilah off, if I'm too cold, I'll come and check my jacket. You'll get your coat on, darling. <laughs> I hate starting the vlog when I'm in a rush. I stupidly thought I could fit in straightening my hair this morning. It's cold and not raining. Okie dokie. I need my coffee. Once I've dropped her off, I am off to a workout class. Then have a few bits to do around town. I've got some school uniform to collect. Sorry for the rush start, guys, but good morning. Hello, welcome to another Vlogtober. It's a couple of hours later. I'm making myself a coffee. What's new? I tried a new class today called a line. It was fairly easy apart from when I needed to be flexible, which I am not. It was mostly a mixture of Pilates and body weight exercises. I feel like I got a good stretch, gave my muscles a good work, but I didn't get too hot and flustered, which was good because I washed my hair yesterday. I didn't fancy getting too sweaty. Bonus of not getting sweaty, is that I'm going to stay in my um, my workout clothes because I'm very comfy. And then I'm thinking I'll have a bath later. Picked up the extra school uniform that I needed to get. We've got an extra pinny, some more tights and a polo shirt. One of Delilah's polo shirts has a hole in already. But I wanted to get more because she has two of each at the moment. I thought that would be sufficient but I'm finding I'm doing about one or two more dark washes and white washes a week than I usually would. I worked out the other day, it probably makes sense that I just buy an extra set of everything and then I can go back to doing one big dark wash, one big white wash because I hate, both with the dishwasher and the washing machine, I hate putting small loads on. I've been finding I've had to do lots of little washes throughout the week which is not ideal. Um, it's a waste of water and energy and money. It's just gonna be me and you guys hanging out at home today. Um, Doug's actually on nights this week, so he's upstairs asleep at the moment. We've got a food shop coming anywhere between now and within the next hour. So I think whilst I wait for that, I'm gonna clear out of the fridge because it's gotten to that point where everything is really unorganised and there are definitely some suspicious looking half open jars of um, pesto that have been in there far too long that need clearing out. And then later, shall I show you some of the new bits that Delilah has in her wardrobe slash definitely need to um, take out all the summer stuff and and give it a bit of a neaten up. I picked her up some boots. Let me get them, they're on the stairs. Bought two sizes because I'm not sure whether she'll need the eight or the nines. So whichever ones we don't keep, I'll uh, take back. And they're easy to get on because they've got the zips. The only thing is last year, and I can't remember whether it was as soon as she'd started wearing them or whether they just got really worn and then the zip started to undo itself. But we'd find she'd be running around and the zip would just undo. Here's hoping the zip doesn't fall down when she's running around. It could be last year that she just wore them a lot because she was wearing them pretty much seven days a week. Whereas now she has her school shoes, she's only, um, she's only gonna wear them after school or at the weekends. Of course I can link those in the description. All the other clothes that I show later are of course link in the description as well. Order has been restored. Actually, whilst I'm here, I'm going to clean out these because they've got lots of bits of dried garlic in and crumbs. Underneath the piano. 
tell me I'm not the only one that finds it so satisfying sorting and cleaning out the fridge. Just unpacking the shopping I thought I'd show you a few things that I got I won't show you everything because some of the stuff is boring like more peppercorns and <laughs> pesto marmite just stocking up on the uh, essentials but I bought a few things I'm excited to try like this ginger and mandarin dressing grabbed these Luke's cheddar cheese puffs because I think Delilah will really like those I discovered this brand because I recently tried these blue corn and red lentil multigrain chips i've almost finished the first bag here and these are so good and all they consist of is some oil lentils corn they've got absolutely no sugar in them which even let's face it i'm not trying to avoid sugar i've got quite a lot of chocolate here however i just don't really appreciate it in things like crisps when it doesn't need to be in there and don't get me wrong i'm all about just eating what you want to eat and if i fancy a specific crisp like a monster munch or hula hoops or quavers or whatever i'll have that but a lot of the time i just fancy something salty and this is a good alternative and it's quite high in protein for a crisp they do actually taste really good delilah and i were having these yesterday with some avocado thought we'd also try out these ones i've got some chocolate i have been drawn in by all the festive goodies recently this is the tony's gingerbread milk chocolate how good does that look i also picked up this ms bubbly boo chocolate for delilah at some point is there anything else i don't think oh we've accidentally been sent this quaker's oat vanilla and blueberry oat so simple i didn't order it but i'm sure delilah will love those so luckily they won't go to waste and then what else? And then we just got dishwasher tablets. I've got one of my favourite teriyaki sauces. This is such a good go-to when I can't be bothered to um, mix mix up my own sauce. Oh, and M&S um, black truffle and olive oil crisps. They are just one of the best crisps. I mean, that's kind of it. I got myself some mini apple pies because I've been really fancying apple pie or apple crumble and ice cream recently so I've got got myself some of those we've got some more stain remover oh and uh, some Terry's chocolate orange bars everything else is stuff like baked beans pasta yogurt the usual stuff oh that's not the best that's not the best angle is it Maybe I'll just sit on the floor. I think we are good. I'm going to take this hoodie off because the camera does not like trying to figure out the light exposure. When I'm in all black, I have some wash in here that needs to go away with a few of the new items that she has. So let's start with some trousers. I picked up these pink cord trousers from Zara in four to five. This is the last age until she needs to go up into the Zara kid. That kind of stuff is almost a bit too big for her at the moment. So she's in this really awkward transitional phase. I'm hoping these fit her. I still need to try them on her. Do you guys remember when she used to have um, pink cords? I think she, she had a pink corduroy jumpsuit and she had pink cord trousers i always have to roll them up because they're never they're always too long on her legs but these will look sweet with her boots another item i got from zara is this jacket now i want this jacket in my size it is so squishy and cozy i don't think i'm gonna get away with this i really loved the floral trim and delilah was very chuffed with this front pocket because she says she can put secret stuff in there she did have a coat in this fabric last year which should still fit her this year it was this one here again from zara i got it in four to five years because i wanted it to fit her for two years this is a slightly smarter version and she wore this last year a lot with her sparkly dinosaur bag yeah this one's a good one for um, when she's outside a good fling on piece when she's at home or when we're just nipping out to the shops or going around to the grandparents for the afternoon oh these berets should still fit her these are from last year this one was from mango and <coughs> my voice is just so croaky at the moment oh this one was from arquette i'm hoping her gray coat so i've got so many 
cardigans and jumpers to sort out in here they've all just been stuffed in here <laughs> A lot of them are far too small for her now that she's had for the last couple of winters that need to um, need to be sold or taken to the charity shop. So this was her coat last year. This was her everyday coat she wore it to preschool. It's from Petty Bateau, am I saying that right? We'll keep this out because I definitely think this will fit her this year and it just gives her something different to wear that isn't her navy school coat. She does actually have one more coat. She had this coat last year from happyology this year we'll probably be able to roll down the sleeves and this will fit her perfectly i remember getting this in the sale when we went to brighton a long time ago they don't have the shop in brighton anymore i think they've, they've just gone online now i think such a sweet coat something that she only wore once last year again something i got in the sale from smaller ball this is by a brand called bonton she's got a lot of fleecy things um she'd be able to wear this fleecy gilet over tops and dresses she has a fair few things from last year that i bought her that to fit her for a couple of couple of winters she has this very festive dress from bowden so that will stay in there oh and she also has this one from mint velvet again that will fit her this year items like these tops i need to see because she can still wear these during the autumn winter layered up i need to see if these gorgeous pieces from what was it little cotton clothes still fit her so i'm going to keep those in there obviously these two items are very summery and i'll um i'll put them away until next year probably keep this one out and she could wear it with a long sleeve top but then saying that she has where's it gone oh it's here she has this dress from next which is a little bit thicker than that floral one from zara and um i can definitely layer this up what i do need to get her are some long sleeve tops which i'll either get from bowden because they do some really good brushed cotton ones that feel nice and warm apart from a stripy t-shirt that she has gotten recently where is it oh it's probably in the wash because she wore it the other day she's got this one which is new from zara very similar to the one i'm wearing today and then she has one from arquette apart from those she doesn't have any other long sleeve tops like this one from bowden but it's a couple of years old now or maybe she just had it last year it's too short on her now it comes up to about here on her arms so this will be a charity shop piece i haven't had to buy too many items this year because unlike previous years where she's been at childminder and at preschool where she's needed a few pairs of leggings and trousers and enough tops to last her a whole week whereas now she's in school uniform five days a week I only really need to worry about weekends, half terms. So oh, I got her this dress from Zara. This style of jersey dress was a go-to last year when she was at preschool. Just really comfy for her. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I haven't shown you. Oh, cardigans. So she wore this one in the last vlog and she also has the, the, the uh, dark pink version. These are both from Zara. These will certainly do her this year and next year i mean dare i say the year after that i just zara cardigans like she had one that was age a year it did her until she was about three years so i find that they come up really big and so you roll the sleeves up and then they last a good couple of years everything else though is just depop or charity shop this old bowden one definitely doesn't fit her anymore oh this one was my what's my favorite she got a year or so's wear out of this from oak meadow kids it's the loveliest little jumper but she's it she's definitely grown out of i'm just going to go through all of this now take out things like these dungarees she's not going to wear them until next year now the only other thing i have on the way are some more pajamas from bowden but well, she's definitely grown out of these white company ones they're just too tight on her around the waist and she got two summers out of these and again she's not going to wear any of these short sleeve ones now because it's too cold she's got this fairy pair from white company and these pair ones from gap which she's um she's actually close to growing out of these waffle ones will probably fit her next year but she's not really wearing them a ton at the moment because it is just a bit too cold for them she's only really got a couple of pairs of long sleeve long trouser pajamas so whilst i ordered her some more tights from bowden i also picked her up a two pack of um some festive <laughs> couldn't help myself some festive jammies uh, one pair's stripy and the other pair uh, has some 
cute festive print on them. I'll link them in the description and obviously you'll see them at some point in the vlogs. Actually the other two that are currently in the wash, they're both fleecy, again from Bowdoin. She had those last year and as always I bought them in the next size up so that they would fit her for a year or two years rather than just one winter. But yeah I'm pretty sure that really is everything now. I hope you enjoyed seeing Delilah's autumn winter wardrobe. I'm sure there'll be a the odd addition here and there. Oh, Delilah's had this for years. It just seemed to grow with her. But um, this doesn't fit her anymore. This is definitely one I'm going to keep and treasure. almost forgot to mention she's got some new mittens. I wanted to find her some navy ones for school to go with her uniform and her coat. What I am going to do is go find some navy blue wool and then I'm going to attach it to the inside of the mittens or also need to put her name in them and then I can thread them through the arms of her coat so I don't need to worry about her losing them. I mean she could still lose them but I feel like there's less of a chance of her losing them if they are through her through her through her armholes. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? I don't know why more kids mittens don't just come with the string on. She also has this bobble hat which is new this year. It's from Arquette. I thought the red was very sweet. She's already got the blue one which she had last year and it still fits her this year and it's perfect for school because that's also navy. She's still got this cardigan from last year which was from a brand called Afro art it's one of my favorite cardies she hates it because it's she says it's really scratchy but i can usually get her in it if she's wearing if she's wearing long sleeve i make sure it's not touching any bare skin and then we're a good one definitely can't think of anything else to show you now that's done i'll um put some of those items on my depop later on in the week right now i'm gonna change the bed and it's what is going on here this is hard to do when i'm holding a camera I'm gonna change our bed. It's always a bit of a struggle getting up, getting up here. I'm just gonna to have to catch. I know, it looks so rainy outside. You had a nice day at school. Why are you up there? I've just been making the bed. What did you have for lunch? Um, a potato. Potato. And cheese and beans. I had some sanitizer from a friend, a girl one. One of your friends gave you some hand sanitizer? Yeah. That's nice. Oh, that was so nice. So I don't need to wash my hands. Okay, no problem. You're looking for a snack. Nose. She really loves the um, nush, nush, nush. The, like an almond milk equivalent to this by, I think it's nush, the brand. She loves them, the blueberry and strawberry ones, and she asked for them this week in the food shop. She's not had them for a long time, and they seem to have disappeared. They're out of stock, and I couldn't find them in the shop the other day. <laughs> I'm gonna have dinner a bit earlier and have it with Delilah today. Currently making us burgers. These are my go-tos, the vegetarian Linda McCartney ones. I bought these mini rolls because they're perfect for Delilah. However, a little bit small for me, so I'm gonna have two. And then as well as the burgers, I've also chopped up some potatoes. I've kept the skins on, um, flung them in the oven with some oil, salt and pepper. For me, I'm gonna pop some hummus, or was it in date? Please say it's in date. 13. Yes, we're just about in table. Your dinner's ready, possum? Not yet. You come down when you're ready? Yeah. Okie dokie. Do you want some ketchup and dip dip? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is my favourite burger sauce. 
If you like gherkins, then I'm sure you'll like this too. I definitely recommend giving it a go. I've done this. I've done this tent. Doesn't it look great? It's comfy too. And baby and me is going to sleep in it. Bunny loved stories, Mr. Ted loved picnics, and her bestest favourite of all, Ruby the Fox. Ah. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Wanna say goodnight? Good night. <laughs> I'm gonna have my bath now. I didn't think I had any bath bombs. However, I found one that I must have kept thinking, oh, I'll save this um, that I got last year. It's this. Phoenix Rising. It's probably not going to fizz. It's probably just going to disintegrate when I put it in, but still smells so good. This is my all-time favourite. When I started working for Lush a few months in, they discontinued this, and I remember how gutted I was because it's my favourite along with um, Lord of Misrule. And then last year they started making them again online. I don't know if they still do them. You probably can't hear it, but it's raining really hard right now. So whilst I'm in the bath, I'm just going to listen to the sound of the rain. It's Tuesday, that means it's Bake Off. I'm gonna have my bath and I'm gonna watch Bake Off. And I'm afraid, Mr. Duck, you're all going down there. I don't know about you guys, but there's something about watching Great British Bake Off that always makes me want some kind of dessert or cake. And this week I actually have some. Heated up one of these mini apple pies and I'm going to have it with ice cream. When I was in the bath, I put the light setting down, so that was probably really dark. I've always been a Bake Off fan, but this year I'm really enjoying it. And I think it's because it's a bit of normality and a bit of comfort in strange times like we're in now. I am in my happy place right now. I've had a lovely bath, I'm squeaky clean. I've got freshly washed pajamas on. I've got my pudding, bake off. And then to top it off, I have fresh sheets on the bed tonight. I mean, that's a good evening if you ask me. <laughs> if you um, If you guys had to pick your perfect or near perfect evening what would it be i've been really enjoying reading your comments recently i asked you oh, what did i ask recently i asked for your porridge suggestions i couldn't believe how many of you gave me recipes and then there was something else oh it was about i think it was the beginning of vlogtober i asked about your your things that you're kind of drawn too and I, there was a lot of people that said mugs and candles i completely feel you on that um, and there's some really interesting answers it's quite nice making a conversation around something so yeah i'd love to know what your um ideal what's your ideal evening that's enough nattering from me i'm gonna end the vlog and i shall see you in the next one what one will we, which one will, 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 will which one will we be on next eight eight so we're, we're halfway through now yeah we're halfway through vlogtober Where's the month going? I will see you then. Bye. Goodbye.